What's going on everyone? It's the Niskel! Welcome to the bonus episode of Super Mario 3D Land! This video will be looking at a few topics I wanted to cover before our 100% reward, as well as a couple things I found out along the way. Without further ado, let's get started! We went over mystery boxes during the Let's Play, but I never really went into how many variations of mystery box there were in the game. The regular mystery boxes vary depending on what world you're in and can have enemies ranging from a single Goomba to a Boom Boom that you need to defeat in one hit. On screen you'll see the 20 different variations that you could find. These are also the same types of mystery boxes that you can find via Street Pass. I actually had to correct myself in post when I thought the Street Pass mystery boxes were different. Rare mystery boxes also depend on which world you're in. Each one will have two star medals and there are 15 variations on the ones you can find. This means that you have 50 possible medals that you can get through mystery boxes. What's funny is that the main game's mystery boxes do eventually run out of medals. But through Street Pass, they don't actually run out. This means that you could technically grind up to 999 star medals. You don't have to, since you only need 290 to beat the game 100%. But if you're a hardcore completionist, have at it. One aspect of Street Pass I did not cover was that you can get special toad houses through Street Pass, and the rewards change depending on how many times you pass with the same person. Your first Street Pass gift will have a red ribbon and have a mushroom and either a fire flower or a super leaf. The second gift will have a blue ribbon and contain a fire flower and a super leaf. Third will have a green ribbon and have a mushroom, super leaf, and fire flower. The fourth gift will have a silver ribbon and have a mushroom, fire flower, super leaf, and boomerang flower. This gift is actually going to repeat until you reach the tenth pass with the same person. At that point, the deluxe gift has a gold ribbon and gives you a mushroom, leaf, fire flower, boomerang flower, and a statue leaf. I guess this technically means that you can get the statue leaf before its appearance, if you see the same person for 10 days straight. Or if you have a second 3DS. Time attack is also unlocked through Street Pass, but it doesn't really make itself known. Basically, you get the time of the person you passed and see if you can beat their time. Bragging rights is your only reward. Since we finished the album, I figured this was a good time to look over our adventure one more time and look over some small details. I also just really want to see the 3D pictures again. I never actually did save these to my SD card back in the day, nor will I do it now because I've completed this game 100%, I could just come back to it. Or, you know, I'll just watch my footage again. I do like this one, I love how you can make the leaves just shake in the wind. Ah! Look out Goombas, you're gonna get a tail! You're gonna be able to jump higher! I like how it, the more you move the 3DS, the higher they jump. Oh yeah, here we go. We got some turbulence, boss! Ah! I love how the anchor is actually digging into Bowser's foot. Ah! Why did I leave that hanging? So, I didn't know about this. Peach is thinking about Mario jumping. He's the jump man, it's what he does. But if you keep making him jump... <gasps> Whoa! What's up, Goomba friend? But what if we keep jumping? We saw a Goomba show up, so it, will something else happen? Oh, there's there's Mr. Goomba again. He's having a time back there. Hey! There he is! Luigi is in the background if you jump enough times in that picture. Thanks for teaching me that, guys. Oh, we got the Tower of Goombas. Blah, 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 blah. Fear me! I like the nice little detail that uh, the more you whack the Goombas, I think eventually she gets a one-up. Which is, you know, great attention to detail. Also, 3D! Okay, this one's awesome. Every single enemy is accounted for in this picture, but they are hiding behind other enemies. Like, for example, the sand blarks back there. There's a coin coffer behind the bullet bill! You also have the block snake back there. There's also, uh, that block that comes to life. All the enemies are back there, all present and accounted for. This one has Bobblehead Bowser, I just, I just love it. It's so funny. And uh, we have the nice completion picture. The leaves are, are growing back on the Tanuki tree. And Mario's just like, yeah, another job well done. This is just cute. Luigi pointing to himself and saying, I did it. Hooray for Luigi. 
and then he's in jail. <laughs> I love how he got his head stuck in the bars. He was on his own adventure and then got put in jail. And here's our reward for practically 100%. At least for beating Special World and beating Bowser again. And then we're back! That is the whole album completed! So now, let's move on to some other topics, and uh, we're getting closer to that 100%. Well, on the topic of pictures, here is Super Mario 3D Land's Puzzle Swap picture. I love how all 3D it gets. I miss Puzzle Swap and Street Pass, man. It was such a treat to get many rewards just for having your console at a convention or anywhere. Such a missed opportunity that the Switch doesn't do this. And I don't think it will at this point. Still, one can dream. This is really exciting. While doing some digging for more unused content, it looks like the E3 2011 demo of 3D Land has been dumped online and videos have been made for archival purposes. There are a few subtle differences in level design, a few small changes to the opening, and there were only four levels to select. But I've added the source of the footage you're watching now to the video description if you'd like to watch the entire demo. There was also a kiosk demo that was distributed before release to stores, and you can only play the first level. This was a near-complete build of the game and only had minor changes specifically for the demo. Lastly, if you want a fun rabbit hole to go down, I've linked a page showing pre-release images of Mario 3D Land in the description. It's funny to think that a game that now looks like this... ...looks like this in the beginning stages. I suppose you have to start somewhere, but... Why does it look like a bad creepypasta? It seems like every Mario game has one of these super early on. Yep, World 1-2 has the infinite 1-up trick. You basically set up here and fall directly on the Koopa shell and watch the magic happen. I almost thought this got patched out until I remembered that Nintendo rarely patch 3DS games, and if you hit any angle besides dead on, the shell is just going to run into you. When you reach 1,000 lives, you'll hear a special jingle! You'll also get a crown on your life count. At 1100, you'll get two crowns, and when you reach 1110, you have reached the life cap. For reaching this easily cheesed feat, you are rewarded with nothing. Luigi is the same. Actually, if you're wearing a suit, you don't see the reward. But now, your Mario brother will not be wearing his hat as long as you have the life cap. The intro also changes to reflect this. What's funny is that if you are the little man, you actually put your hat back on. <laughs> Maybe it's a grim reminder of how close you are to putting your hat back on normally! Oh no! So let's just say you're like me and you just can't quite figure out platforming and you end up losing all your lives. <laughs> Chances are a lot of you out there haven't even seen this screen, but if you do happen to get a game over, Hitting continue gives Mario a second win, and he's back to adventuring. Before that, however, Toad has some advice. I almost felt like I was finding lost dev footage or something not found by gaming's past. But no, these hint rooms have always been in the game. The hint rooms will cycle through basic tutorials and give you a power-up each time. They do eventually stop in the latter half of World 8 and in the Special World. I guess they think you can handle it from there! Now you may be thinking, oh, this is just Nintendo holding the player's hand. Ugh, don't be too easy on him, Nintendo. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. Well, I've died enough times to get a game over. Might as well try again to see if I can figure this out! Oh, hey. What's this? It looks like a golden leaf. It's speaking to me. It's basically demanding that I use it! What's the worst that can happen? Well, we'll get to that. This is the Golden Leaf! After dying in a level five times, this item shows up to give you a hand. It works the same as a Tanuki suit, except that you can't be hurt. Pits and lava still apply, but enemies can't touch you. Run your way to the end and enjoy your time being invincible. There is a drawback, but again, more on that later. For now, just enjoy being all powerful! When you exit the level, it becomes a regular suit, so it is only temporary. Still pretty fun! After you beat the level you got the suit in, this power-up will never show up again in that stage. It's only for stages you haven't finished. And before you say, oh wow, that'll make Special World a whole lot easier, 
Uh, the Golden Leaf and the next power-up we're going to be talking about stop showing up after World 8. They assume that if you can beat the game, you could probably handle Special World! <laughs> Speaking of, let's say you still suck at platforming like me and need more help. After dying ten times in a row on the same level, this little thing shows up. You might recognize this from Super Mario Bros. 3! And its effect is way different! In Mario 3, it helps you fly infinitely. In 3D Land, it wins the level for you. Using the P-Wing takes you directly to the flagpole. And there is no shame in using it if you're having trouble. This got me thinking, though. How far does the P-Wing actually take you? I mean, yeah, it takes you directly to the flagpole, but... Can you skip bosses? Absolutely. Can you skip World 8 Bowser? No. I mean, it took you to the flagpole, you just need to defeat Bowser to get it. Easy. Now, let's talk about the drawback of using OP items like this. First small gripe is you can totally overwrite the P-Wing with a normal power-up, so that's a beginner's trap. More importantly, after you complete the game, if you have used any, let's call them pity items, you will be stuck with non-shiny stars on your profile. There is no changing this unless you delete the profile and start again. So you're stuck, and people know that you suck. Now, there is a point I want to contest. Almost every internet site has claimed that if you die five times or more in a level and see the golden leaf appear, you've messed up and need to restart your console so that it doesn't save and try again. My practice file at the top? I died plenty of times on non-special world levels and it turned out shiny. Maybe my memory is fuzzy? Maybe this is true and I had a fluke? Let me know if any of you have experienced this. Now, with this in mind, what happens when you get OP items from rare mystery boxes? The easiest you can find a P-Wing is a World 1 rare mystery box! So does that screw you out of shiny stars? This is why I think the five levels thing is BS, but it makes sense that opening the box and using the pity items given to you stops the shiny stars. The ones in the mystery boxes are, let's say, gifts. Not exactly pity. While on the topic of profile stars, this is a good segue into getting that fifth star. You get a star for beating Bowser in World 8 Second Castle, clearing all stages in the first eight worlds, beating World 8 Bowser again after finishing Special World 8's final level, obtaining all 285 star medals from levels, not just mystery boxes, and your fifth star comes from clearing all stages with both brothers and getting the golden flagpole at least once in every level. After beating what is pretty much New Game Plus, you get those five lovely, hopefully shiny, stars on your profile. Great job! You've completed Super Mario 3D Land! You can stop now! Huh? What do you mean there's one level left? Yep! Getting five stars unlocks a victory lap level. The hardest in the game. So let's jump to live commentary me and see what this level is all about. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I have never beaten this level before. I have never seen anything about it. I have owned this game for now, uh, close to 10 years. And I have never seen this level. I guess I just never put forth the time to beat every level again with Mario and Luigi. But now we're here, let's dive in, and I gotta say, I might be cheating a little bit, because not only do I have a Tanuki suit on an extremely hard level, so that might be, you know, kind of breaking it a little bit, uh, I'm also jacked up on Mountain Dew, so let's freaking go, man, I've got the gamer fuel all in my bloodstream, let's just take down this entire level, man! So, as with every hard level that I do, uh, on this channel, I have a funny feeling there's going to be no checkpoints in this entire stage, 
So when I die, I'm just going to uh, just cut to the next point. And not the next point, but I'll cut back to where we died. Oh, that is so diabolical. Oh, you have to do some tricky maneuvering for that one. Ah, uh, that... I, I actually do not like that. Having the Tanuki suit is almost required, but doing it without the suit, I might give that a shot. Because, uh, unfortunately, as is with this game, I gotta beat it twice. Oh, that's disgusting! That was disgusting! Why would you do that? Having to jump off a toad's head, please! Oh, this is gonna be freaking rough. Okay, we're, we're doing the both thing. You know, I actually went for Pom Pom the first time last time. When I was going through the levels again and... Oh, that's that's sad. Uh, you know what? I'm not actually going to use, uh, use my backup Tanuki suit unless I absolutely have to. But uh, when I was doing the levels again and recording footage for the bonus, I tried my best to hit both of them around the same time so that they wouldn't have the joint attack of lowering the floor. And will you please? Oh my god! Oh, that's mean. Well, hey, guess what? We're all the way back here. Let let's give it a shot without the suit. The suit ca seemed like, uh, you know, it was playing the game on easy mode. So let's see how much we can do without it. And if I end up dying, we'll just meet you back at Boom Boom and Pom Pom. I have... I have faith in my ability as a Mario player. See right there, you just gotta bounce off. Nothing to it. These singular jumps, they got nothing on me. Oh, slippery shoes. And this is why I chose Luigi first. <laughs> because if I have to do this stage twice, slippery shoes is going to go first. I'm sorry, Luigi. You are the first to dive straight into this hard as balls level. Because your mechanics are terrible. You yourself, my good man, are not terrible. Your mechanics are terrible. I jumped right over the Goomba. Okay. One more. Uno mas. Do it again. Another. <laughs> I really do like how this stage is presented. You got the shooting stars in the background, and that's just really appealing to look at. But not only that, you have the colored blocks. And I've actually been playing uh, Super Mario 3D World in the background, uh, just helping out with UDJ's Let's Play. And I've actually been going through all the stages again and playing with everybody. Ooh, that is dastardly. That's actually a trick they pull in 3D World! But uh, I've actually been getting good at one particular segment of the 3D World World Crown. And it's just, a, it's just a state now of doing the same thing over and over again, and getting the same result, and getting slightly farther. And I gotta say, this method of play actually helped me with some of the harder levels that I've accomplished on this channel. Specifically, Ethan must die. And Luigi must die, too. So, with hard stuff, I know I'll eventually be able to do it. I just gotta get into the headspace that, oh hey, Pay attention. The game mechanics are testing you on every single thing. Get more jacked up on Mountain Dew, and let's freaking be a gamer, all right? All right, so this one, bounce off this dude. Uh, oh, that slippery shoe, okay. You know what, why don't I just meet you back at Boom Boom and Pom Pom? And give me a little time to focus again, huh? I mean, it's either that or I could come up with some interesting topics to speak of as we are going through this final level. I actually wanted to save the level as the end of the entire series, just the send-off to it, and just be like, you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. We'll put the hardest level right at the end. It'll be a nail-biter if I end up doing it, actually. Okay, you can still do the trick. Nice! You can run with uh, blocks in between. So this one, boop. Boop. Oh my god! Oh my lord, that was that was so cool. I feel really good about that. And the fact that I don't have the Odyssey jump. Oh, actually, I've I have never done the 3D World version of World Crown either. I just slipped right off. So 
I have no idea how much that Odyssey Jump actually helps in 3D World. So far, so good. But I also don't have that in 3D Land. So I might be trying to overcomplicate things and try to do a jump that doesn't exist. I've already kind of noticed that. Okay. It looks like Toad actually enjoyed my little my little save strat there. He's like, oh my god, you survived! Never would have seen that coming, little Toad dude. Oh, right in between there. Okay. Oh, what was up with that? He went so fast! And there isn't even a speed boost in this game! You just go running speed! Oh, Luigi, you're killing me here. You are actually killing me here. Actually, no, you're killing you! You're killing you here! Good lord. Niskoldama strikes again. You are killing you, Luigi! Ooh! Okay! I have one hit, so this isn't gonna be good. Because Boom Boom all of a sudden is spinning so fast he's creating sparks. So, for the sake of my sanity, because I just died like 10 extra times, that is, you know, healthily necessary. Like, I'm doing some serious work on, on Luigi's psyche. He has seen death far too many times for one person to handle. Oh, yep, that would have been it. Is it just me or is Boom Boom faster? Oh, wow, what is that garbage? Yeah, and the fire doesn't help either. All right, all right, I see your game. We're bringing all the tricks. In fact, some of these tricks they're expecting you to do. Excuse me? Is that her ponytail that killed? Oh, God damn it. Ah! Oh, I call, I'm calling BS on that one. Unless the boomerang spawned out of nowhere before the next one was even supposed to spawn? I don't agree with that. Not at all. Well, I've lost my power up, so I'm doing this the old fashioned way, ladies and gentlemen. So I was totally wrong about Luigi not getting a speed boost. It's just more noticeable in 3D World, because they actually have, like, you know, the speed marks. As soon as I start talking, I die. I haven't said a word in the past few seconds, and I immediately died. I wanted to do this live. <sighs> uh, this level sucks! And I'm not even halfway through it! Oh my god! Please don't! Alright, cool. we're cool. We're cool, we're doing good. The more I do these sections, obviously the better I'm going to get at them. But some of them are just diabolical, like this one? You have never had to do that the entirety of the game. And then they expect you- oh, by the way, you can do this, and you need to learn how to do it now. This part right here, I still can't believe. One of the jumps requires you to jump off a toad's head. And it's a good thing these boys have, like, mush for brains. I hate that bee so much! He has never been there any of my other tries! He changed positions just to mess with me! Shenanigans, I call! I call BS, I call shenanigans! It's dumb. <laughs> But I've, I've noticed as I've been doing these sections, I've been getting through them easier. But some of them are still calling for amazing feats of, of jumping. That one, if you don't jump perfectly, as in right in the middle of the platform before you have to do that ladder segment, you're going either before it and dying, or you're threading the needle and dying. So, it's not based on skill, it's based off memory. And I know I keep going back to 3D World, but that's where I am right now. And I'm noticing some similarities where sometimes it's not about skill, it's about memory. So, for example, right here. You have to land on that last one and still have your running in order to make that. Because if you don't, you're screwed. But now we're back. I gotta bounce off uh, Toad's squishy head. Maybe I'll just wait for the bee. Is he even over there? See, look! He's all the way over there! Made it! Alright! 
Boom Boom and Pom Pom. Let's, let's freaking go. I think my strategy needs to change. I should wait for Boom Boom to get tired because Pom Pom, she's actually easy to take care of. And by the way, I think I was right in calling shenanigans. Oh my God, she throws three now. All right, we're just gonna... Why didn't it land on his head? Is it that precise? And I've just been getting lucky the entire game? Oh, I'm actually disgusted by my gameplay. Ew! Maybe I should scrap the whole thing. Nah, we'll just keep it going. Okay, I made it back. That wasn't too bad. Just made it back on my next life. Alright, so Pom Pom throws three boomerangs. Boom Boom now has fire. There we go, there's a good hit. And now Boom Boom should be getting tired. And Pom Pom actually doesn't come down here, so that's a good opportunity to get some hits. Pom Pom should be done. I'm just going to jump over there, throw a boomerang, got her. And now Boom Boom should be getting started. Well, that kind of sucks. And actually, this kind of sucks, this entire format here. All right, she's going to jump. Got her. So now, Boom Boom gets the entire arena to himself. I'm actually going to run because he is so fast now. That's how he's creating the fire. He's going extra fast. There we go. Boom Boom, Pom Pom, tag team taken out. So welcome to this uh, part uh, two of the level. Toad, you got any encouraging words? Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, we got fuzzies here. Ew, I don't like fuzzies. Oh, that's that's just gross. I actually hate you. Ah! And we're back to the beginning. <laughs> no. Oh, Toad, I feel it. I feel you saying ha ha to me. And it burns the very core of my soul. Welcome back to section two of three. I I think. Enjoy the fuzzies. Just drive right through them. It'll it'll work perfectly. Oh, okay. I, I see what they're doing, and this could be really rough. Oh, I hate myself. Ah, I jumped ahead without looking. All right, so let's see, five minutes to get back there, and I'm right back where I started with only just a tad more knowledge. At least I got my power-up back. Oh, and I should mention there are definitely no power-ups in this entire level, because why would there be? It's a test of your ability, is not how you can cheese the level. I actually gained a one-up from how many coins I've collected from killing enemies. That is insane. <laughs> Uh, please let me finish this. We're about 30 minutes into recording, I'd say. And, uh, I haven't made a lot of progress, but I'm actually... I'm happy that, uh, the... Oh, I, I need to stop talking. I need to stop talking. The momentum not being there is so disheartening. Because you've got it all lined up, and then there's just no momentum. And that's just ridiculous. So, uh, I'm gonna shut up. Why? Why? How is that even possible? Was my thumb that fat thumbing? No! Oh, you have to be kidding me! I hate everything. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, sometimes the Mario mechanics can be absolutely damning. Bouncing off everything hurts sometimes. Alright, so I guess I should update him about 33 minutes in. I have no idea how many times I've died. I'll probably tally it by the end just to see a final, you know, death count. How many Luigi's did we lose? And then we'll take a look at how many Mario's we lose. Son of a gun! I cannot! Alright, so I've managed to get to this point without getting hit. I don't know how long that is going to last, but we will make it last as long as we can. These fuzzies are gonna be a problem. But this right here, okay, pay attention, me. Pay attention, because right here is when you jump. Not early, not later. Oh, what is this garbage? What is this garbage? Oh, this is disgusting! 
Oh, why would you do this? Why would you do this? Well, they seem to be not consistent. That's not the word I'm looking for. At least they're kind of a non-issue. It's mainly just... Oh, what on earth? Oh, there's one in the sky. I didn't even notice. So, at that point, you're just kind of screwed. Okay, we made it through that section. We're doing good. Oh, all right. All right. How good's your air control? All right, here we go. Jump over this. Doing good. Doing good. <laughs> ah, 3D space. That's actually one th oh, Speaking of 3D space, that's actually the thing that's been killing me a lot. Misjudging 3D space. And it's what sent me back straight back to the beginning. I'm at least glad we got to see that section. I'll probably never do that good again. Meet you back there. Okay. We're back to this point. I just lost my power up and I'm a little salty about it. But let's see if we can reproduce the magic that I did on my last attempt. Just being able to move fluently and getting hit. Whoa! Right near the end. Damn it. All right, we're back at the beginning. So I bet you've never seen this part of the level before. Oh, yeah. Come on over here. I haven't even started. I haven't even started going towards the boss, and yet you found me somehow. I will take that. I will not take that, though. Are you kidding me? Pay attention, me! Okay. We are back at the fire bars. I have a power-up. Oh, please. All right. Air control. Oh, okay. We're fine. We're fine. Just get on the box. Thank you. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, this is... This is terrible! Oh, no! What do I do? Do I just... Do I just... Uh, huh, huh. Okay! I don't know how I got through that segment, but I did it. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, I think that's it! Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Oh! You! Thank you! Thank you! And yes! Yes! All right, what's up, Toad Brothers? What's going on, man? Oh, you guys are so happy that I did it. Thank you. And you know what? I'm gonna have to tally up all the deaths in post. Do not miss the golden flagpole! Yeah! Yes! Mm. I have now beaten the hardest level in the game! Yeah, don't forget to take a break. I think I will have to. I was about to say, like, a funny story. <laughs> like, it's really hot in my room, in my recording room, so after this, I was going to install the AC unit in my window. I didn't think it would take 52 minutes and 30 seconds as of right now. But you know the funny thing? Mario needs to have a chance! I will see you at the freaking flagpole! Oh, thank you very much! So that took a lot less deaths, and bonus points to me! I did it without power-ups! Suck it, Mario 3D World! <laughs> 3D World! 3D Land! And I gotta admit, that level was damn near perfect. They test you on everything that you have faced in the game, as well as things that you never thought you had to deal with. 
That was an awesome level. It was also the perfect length, I have to admit. Being able to do that level straight through, like, let's say you didn't die. That level's only about five minutes long. If you can believe. Like, I've been recording for about an hour, and the fact that that level can be beaten in about five minutes just floors me. But we have done it. That is every single thing in Super Mario 3D Land. I know my medals are inconsistent, that's because I'm using a file that I actually worked on months in advance. I basically got it to the point where I was like, okay, I just need to beat a couple levels and bam, world crown. That way I didn't have to grind. But we've done it. I feel so accomplished, and I have it all on film. Whew. All right. Well, I feel great about that. I'm going to end it on a high note. I feel accomplished. Doing it without a Tanuki suit? Hell yeah. Doing it with both Mario and Luigi? Hell yeah. The grand total deaths were... Eh. Could have been more. Definitely could have been less. Thank you so much for watching Super Mario 3D Land. I hope you all had a wonderful time watching, as I did getting to play through one of my favorite 3DS games. So, until the next project, I will see you guys next time. I need to install the AC unit in here. It is so freaking hot in this room. We've been recording for about an hour and it's so bloody hot in here.